You have a dog called Holly who is very frightened of traffic and tries to lie down in the street and refuses to walk when meeting traffic. So what do you suggest she does? Mm. Okay, well sorry to hear that. The, uh, the concern with dogs and traffic again is quite common because imagine on a busy road with buses or uh, big lorries thundering along the road causing swirls of dust and what have you is pretty frightening for a dog especially when you consider how low they are and how intense that experience must be. So as with many uh, behaviour problems let's call it or areas that you want to improve we need to find a place away from the problem so that your dog can indeed cope and so then the idea is that if you have to be 50 feet back from the road then as your dog improves and settles down you can reduce those distances over successive days and weeks and that's the sort of plan I would put together with customers so that we uh, are being really proactive uh, going out with the dog armed with lots of high value food or maybe some sort of special toy that we can use as a distraction and a reward for that dog um, and then we can find a, a working distance so that the dog is not having a meltdown in essence because if your dog is lying down that is telling you that uh, the situation for the dog is too hot so we might have different colours green where it's calm then we come up into yellow and amber where it's getting a bit more heated and then we can go up into uh, oranges and then reds as the the dog finds that the situation is too stressful you need to be working your dog in the amber type sector okay um, because if you're going into the reds well the dog is not learning it's just shutting down and that you will know when your dog is in the amber type situation because its behavior will remain manageable you will not see the dog lying down you could walk up to a certain distance and ask the dog to sit and to stay and that you'll see your dog aware of the traffic but also able to take food from you okay because a dog also that is extremely stressed uh, generally will not eat so those are the indicators that you know uh, that, that you're in the amber section and not in a red um, and that's the sort of thing you'll need to do on a daily basis make your first little jaunts to these roadside places quite short just five minutes and then come away all right and then you can build those up to something like 10 15 minutes max per session so you might be doing one or two sessions a day and that's how I would work that forward um, as I say it is usually the sort of thing I would go into much more detail with uh, face to face with my customers but uh, that's the essence of it you find high value rewards to distract your dog um, and then we we reduce the distances as your dog improves okay so uh, maybe I didn't make that clear so as the dog does improve you can reduce your distance from say that 50 feet to 40 to 30 you would never really get right on the edge of the pavement because that's inappropriate but if you eventually could sit your dog um, back uh, say a good six or ten feet away from the roadside and for your dog to still be able to take food or to interact with you without lying down of course then you'll know you're really on to something so good luck with that it is a bit of a mission uh, that you need to set upon to really overcome that problem uh, and the the rewards are there for the taking so good luck and thank you for your question